Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, it's my lunchtime and uh, I'm out and about for a walk in uh, St. Boniface uh, again. Uh, continue to do so as long as the weather's nice, not rainy or windy or anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going down uh, a few of the streets uh, here in St. Boniface uh, just because it's a nice lovely day and lovely day for a walk. And, uh, so yeah. You guys having a lunchtime walk as well? Okay, lunchtime fly? Something like that. Uh, today I'm actually out uh, running and gunning with my uh, Canon R50 just because it's a nice small compact camera and uh, you know, don't want to carry two cameras at the same time just for a nice stroll around the street. So, uh, So I've, uh, I've been noticing that uh, with some of the uh, images that I've taken of, uh, of these bees pollinating flowers, that uh, they aren't, you know, I mean, they, they, they're, they're, they're sharp, but I mean, they aren't sort of tack sharp like this, this other image from, from last year. Um, there seems to be some sort of, you know, bloom in the highlights. Um, to be honest, I don't know exactly where it's from, but I'm gonna guess it's something like uh, maybe reflection from uh, the sun on the flowers that's sort of giving it a bit of a you know a, a misty sort of bloom to it. Uh, I know the lens itself is clean because I cleaned it before uh, I uh, bought the camera out. Uh, so I mean that's my only theory. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not a macro lens that I'm using. I'm using the, the 18 to 45 lens for this R50, which isn't a macro lens, but it's not bad. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll go with the, the Bloom and Highlights theory. Yeah. One thing uh, definitely makes this uh, lunchtime walk very nice is uh, all the flowers around here. Um, many different flowers I don't know. I mean, outside of lilacs and roses and um, it, it, it's, this pink one. It's a pink flower. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah.
course, you've got uh, the lovely uh, walkways around uh, the river ah. and, and a guy honking. Go figure. Of course, you got the uh, lovely sound of uh, the birds chirping in the trees and uh, the wind rustling against uh, leaves, and grasses, and flowers, and such. And lawnmowers, cars passing by. Welcome to urban life. Go figure. With the uh, ruins of the St. Boniface Cathedral, uh, which is the part sort of to my right there, um, it's, it's always fascinating to, uh, to come and visit them. Um, you know, just seeing sort of the part of the old footprint of the, uh, the old cathedral. Um, and then you've got sort of the, uh, the new bit of the cathedral, which, uh, just back up without trying to trip, but you can sort of see part of it uh, right there. Uh, that was built within the ruins of the, uh, the old church, which uh, pretty much burned down in 1968, I want to say. Probably put it up somewhere there, but uh, it's, uh, it's always nice and peaceful coming here. Um, it's, uh, it's quite lovely. And uh, in front of the, uh, the grounds of the uh, cathedral, uh, you've got uh, graves of uh, various different uh, members of, uh, of the church from years ago, uh, including um, Manitoba's most famous uh, person, most likely. I'm not talking about Burton Cummings. I'm talking about Louis Riel, who uh, you know, led the Red River Rebellion back in 1870. And, uh, 
was con considered a, a traitor to uh, the Dominion of Canada back in the day and uh, was subsequently you know, found, hung, and uh, is actually now buried here. Or, and uh, or at the very least, his, his grave marker is here. Uh, can't confirm. I'll have to do a little digging on it if I can. And uh, yeah. And this sculpture in front of the University of St. Boniface, uh, I will not try and butcher the name in French because my French is pretty bad. Uh, anyway, uh, it looks like it's a metal representation of flowers. Um, we'll go with that. Um, I might do some research on it later. I might not. I might just you know, end up uh, watching YouTube videos of car crashes wrestling and such. Anyway. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Collège Univers Universitaire de Saint Boniface. Yep, knew I'd mangle it. Yeah. Okay, I know there are birds in here somewhere because I've heard them chirping. I mean, other than one that's probably up there somewhere, but I know I've, I've seen one or two in these bushes oh, this afternoon. Um, yeah, all right, fine. So, this is, I know it's not dogwood, Does, if it were dogwood, it's, its bark would be worse than its bite, but since it's not a dogwood, is its, is its bite, bite worse than its bark? Get it, bark? Get, you guys suck. On that note, I'm gonna go back to work because my lunch time's over. So I'll see you next time and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks.